The year is 1999. The Cold War has been over for more than a decade, and for the first time in a half century, the world is free from the spectre of nuclear apocalypse. It should be a time of peace and prosperity, but all over the globe, the embers of old animosities have been fanned into flame by the winds of freedom. Terrorism in the 21st century is an international industry. Money and expertise flow freely through the global computer nets, and every type of weapon imaginable is available on the black market of the third world. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. What's needed is an organization with the resources and the authority to fight terrorism wherever it flourishes. It would be composed of the best and brightest counter-terrorism experts from every country and armed with state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. It would operate in absolute secrecy, its existence known only to the most senior government officials. It would attack swiftly and silently, cutting off the head of the Viper before it had a chance to strike. Such an organization already exists. Its code name is Rainbow. I see the cavalry has finally arrived. Those guns won't be necessary. I'll come quietly. You haven't won, you know. The industrialized world is already doomed. I was just hastening things along a little. You picked the harder road. Instead of having it all over in a few short weeks, now we're gonna be around for the long, slow slide. Runaway global warming, crop failures, mass extinction, death. The handwriting is on the wall. At least my way, the animals would survive. The plants. 100 years from now, there won't be a creature larger than a rat alive anywhere on the planet. Well, it's all over now, but the mopping up. An army of investigators from a dozen different agencies is crawling all over Horizon and GS. By the time we're done, we'll know everything about their operation down to the underwear sizes of the janitors. The Australian government is officially referring to what happened at the athlete's village as a bomb scare. I think they're afraid the truth would cause a panic. The White House is deep in damage control, but it's still hard to put a positive spin on the fact that one of your senior advisors was a terrorist mole. For us, it's back to business as usual. There are still plenty of bad guys out there. You knew when you signed on with this crew, there wouldn't be any parades or medal ceremonies. But I want you to know that you deserve all that and more. It's been an honor working with you. Okay, enough of that. Clark out.